hi guys welcome back to another video hope you guys are all doing good and well as usual in today's video i'm going to be starting a series where i share with you guys each brand that i have in my collection and today we're going to be starting with china glaze china glaze hands down is my favorite mainstream brand hence why i almost have three helmer drawers um full of them the first two are completely full and the third one is about halfway full so yeah we're just gonna be diving in so these are all arranged alphabetically and uh, this is the easiest way for me to remember where everything is and you know pull out what I want to wear from my untrieds and my trieds and you know anything I want to show you guys for seasonal racks or for any idea video concepts I come up with so let's just get into this First one up here I have is called Accent Piece. This came out in their 2017 fall collection. It's a really nice pumpkin spicy yellow color. Really pretty. Next is Active Wear Don't Care, which is a jade teal jelly. Next is Agro. This came out in their Hunger Games collection. One of my picks from that collection. So good. Next is Ahoy. This came out in their Spring 2011 Anchors Away collection. It's a pretty pink jelly with a pink glass fleck in there. Next is Are You Jelly, and it's a magenta jelly. Next up is Autumn I Need That. This came out in their 2018 fall collection, I believe. Yeah, really interesting polish. I'm not really sure how to describe this. It's like a deep burgundy with a lot of uh, gold glass fleck in there. Next is Applejack of My Eye. This came out in their My Little Pony collection. Broke Jungle, really interesting, like green, and it has a lot of emerald shimmer in there. Beaches and Toes, this came out in their, one of their summer collections where everything was themed brown. Really interesting collection. This is a neutral with a lot of holographic sparkle in it. Bermuda Breakaway, one I bought for the name. This is an inky indigo blue. Very pretty, I've used quite a bit. Blue Island Iced Tea, another one that I bought for the name. So pretty. This is called Blue Sparrow. This dries down to a matte finish. Uh, it's a blue. Very, very pretty. I like it better when um, it has a glossy top coat on it, but either... Um, Texture, textured or not, it's pretty. Next is Boogie. This came out in their Vintage Vixen collection uh, years ago. It was a fall collection. Really good collection, that one. It was 1920s inspired. Bronze Ambition. <laughs> I did do a polished story about this. If you guys are interested in checking that out, you definitely should. But it is a nice mahogany brown with a lot of shimmer. Brownstone, the perfect brick red for fall. Very pretty. This is definitely a favorite. My backup of Budding Romance. This is Cabana Fever, just a white that dries down matte. Check out the Silver Fox. Such an interesting purple hue to it, but it does, definitely doesn't come out on the nails. Celebrity, the bar glitter of all bar glitters. <laughs> this is Cherish, one of my favorite greens in my collection. This came out on their Romantic collection. Came out with like all metallic finishes. Oh, I wish I got the whole thing, but this one is really, really pretty and a standout definitely for me. Central Parka. Chalk Me Up. Concrete Catwalk. Conduct Yourself. Cook a Courage. Oh, I love this purple. China Glaze makes amazing purples. This came out in the same collection, has ruby pumps. Really pretty. Cowboy Bye. This is sitting on my untrieds. Oh, so pretty. That red shimmer, so nice. My backup of Creative Fantasy, which is a purple jelly. Desert Sun. 
Don't Be a Snowflake. Don't Desert Me. Dress Me Up. Another one from Hunger Games Collection. It's a dusty mauve rose color with hints of brown. Very pretty. Dope Taupe. Emerald Bay. Exotic Encounters. Fade into Hue, which is a periwinkle dusty blue. I've used this a lot. So pretty. Fancy Pants. First Mate. Fly. Flying Dragon. Foy Gras. Four Leaf Clover. I did spill this one. I wish I could say I used it up to that fill level, but that is not the case. <laughs> but this is such a lovely green. It's like a subdued neon green. Really love this. Frostbite, the blues of all blues. <laughs> this is, was definitely my gateway to China Glaze. Um, one of the polishes that made me love the brand. This is just a staple for me. Really good polish. This is Gaga for Green. Haven't used this one yet. Get it right, get it bright. Give me the green light. It's one of my favorite polishes ever, so pretty. Glittering Garland. I was disappointed with this one just because I thought it would look a bit like Emerald Sparker, but Sparkle, but it's definitely really dull on the nails. I'll probably get rid of this one, but yeah, that's Glittering Garland. Gone Glamping, super interesting duochrome polish. Really, really nice on the nails. Good has Marigold. This is definitely one of my favorite oranges in my collection and one of my favorite orange formulas from China Glaze. They really did a good job with the formula on this one. Next is Good Witch, Gothic Lolita, Great Pop, Hey Sailor. That one stains, just forewarned, but it's such a gorgeous red. Heroin Chic, really, really nice gun met metallic uh, gray brown with a really interesting red shimmer how are you doing in the near fuchsia i truly azure you one of my favorite like mermaid pool looking polishes this just glows i still believe which came out in the same collection as good as marigold i believe the collections are all based on flowers really really pretty interesting polish i want to lay ya Jagged Little Teal, Jamaican Out, Japanese Koi, <laughs> it's OG polish, terrible formula, but the color is amazing. Kalahari Kiss, it's like a muted dusty yellow, very interesting, love this one. Keep Calm Paint On, which came out in their Avant Garden collection, which is one of my favorite spring collections from them. Really, really pretty light pastel green with a bit of shimmer in there. Keep It Realm, which came out in their Halloween collection for last year. Life is Rosy. And Life Preserver. Going into my second drawer, this is Lighthouse. Came out in their spring collection for 2011. This one is more of a topper, has it super sheer, but it's really pretty. A mini of Light as Air. This came out in their Up and Away collection, which was for spring 2011. Nope, spring 2010. Little Green Invaders from Halloween last year. Liquid Leather. Let Your Twilight Sparkle. Lubu Heels, Lug Your Designer Baggage, which is one of my lemmings for a while, really pretty polish. 
Mahogany Magic. This is Manhunt. Mahalo at me. Meet Me in the Mirage. This came out, uh, I think, in a summer collection. This is one I've wanted for a while. It is a rose gold foil. Mingle with Kringle. Moment in the Sunset. This is Mimosas Before Manny's. Mustard the Courage. New Year, New Boo. Nice Caboose. Off White on Point, which is a white jelly polish. Payback's a Witch. Pathological Liar Liar. This one looks like it'd be full coverage, but it's pretty sheer. I usually use it as a topper. It looks really good over black. Partridge in a Palm Tree. This is a really interesting matte polish. Dries down to like a like a shimmery pastel color. Really pretty, nice for winter. This is Passion Before, pa no, Passion for Petals. <laughs> Pearl Jammin, I think this is a cult classic. Really pretty. Pelican Gray. Peachy Keen, which is really dusty, like, uh, pastel, very nice. Pink and Poppy, which is when I really have to try, this is totally giving me indie vibes. Pink or Swim. Pink Underground, which came out in the same collection, has Secret Periwinkle, which I don't have, but this one is definitely one of, um, I think the oldest, uh, China, not the oldest China that I have in my collection, but one of like the oldest from a, like the oldest, one of the oldest collections that China Glazes came out with that I have in my collection. Man, that was hard to say. Okay. Anyway, that was Pink Underground. <laughs> Pleather Weather, which came out in their 2018 fall collection. Super interesting, like satin finish to this one. Private Side Eye. Original of Purple Panic. Fortunately, I've changed the formula of this one, uh, but this is the original and it's like a fluorescent pink. It's so pretty. Purple Tonium. Rain Dance the Night Away. Ravishing Dowling, which is actually one of my oldest china glazes that I forgot to mention in my oldest polishes collection, but this one is like a cherry toned burgundy red. I've used, nope, I spilled this one too. <laughs> It's so old, I forgot that I have it, and that's why I didn't mention it. But yeah, that's Ravishing Dowling. Recycle. Rendezvous with You. Red Pearl. A Mini of Refreshment. This is Rich and Famous, one of my favorite pinks in my collection. This is one I've added back to it. Riveting, another one from Hunger Gay's collection. This is A1. Um, I wish I got a backup of this one, but Zoya's Amy is pretty close to this. So when this is done, I'll probably pick up that one. Rock and Royale, sort of a red berry toned cream. Royal Pain in the Ascot. Ruby Pumps, this is such an OG. Saved by the Bluebell. Sample Sizing Me Up. Seduce Me. Send Hughes, one of my favorite browns in my collection. So pretty and unique. Senorita Bonita, one of their, my 
favorite polishes they've came out with purple polishes really interesting you really have this is one of those polishes that you have to get on your nails to really you know experience it fully the bottle shot doesn't do it justice shadies and gentlemen one of my favorite polish names ever she's so extraterrestrial sure feels good shower together cinderella one of my favorites that i wish i got a backup of this came out in their 2017 halloween collection with china gaze when they come out with halloween collections and the one that's most popular you got to get a backup of because the chances are it won't be available in the next couple months but yeah that was cinderella silent nightlife simply flat blue list which is a deep deep uh, blue jelly sleeping under the stars which i thought would be similar to turn on the northern lights from opi which i didn't get but this one dries so dark on the nails it doesn't look anything in the bottle unfortunately snap my dragon snow way which is basically the white version of pearl jammin solar power sorry i'm latte Stellar. Absolutely love this one, but it is a pain to get off your nails. So rough. Strawberry Fields, one of my favorite china glazes ever. This is just so beautiful on the nails. Really great summertime polish. Starboard. Star Hopping. Basically a galaxy on your nails. This is Strike Up a Cosmo. And Stone Cold. And for the last drawer, this is Stop Beach Frontin. Stroll, one of my favorites. It's a cherry jelly red with a lot of uh, gold glass fleck in there. This is Spontaneous, uh, one of my favorite purples. I know Stop Beach Front and Spontaneous look similar, but this one's a bit more dusty and muted, and Stop Beach Front and is a lot more pinkish. Yeah. This is Sunset Sail. Summer Moon, a really, really great white with an awesome formula. Sunset Seeker, this is a burnt orange matte color. Really good formula on this one. This is Splish Splash, looks a bit similar to our Truly Azure You, but it's not as glowy. Swing Baby, one of my favorites, obviously. Looks so pretty on the nails, like a champagne um, like foil. Tantalize Me, one of my favorites, the Blue Shimmer. Take the High Rodeo. This one took me a while to find, but so happy I found it. It reminds me of Strawberry Feels, except just a different base color. Very pretty. Take a Hike. Tardy for the Party. S teen Spirit. That Away. Oh, such a gorgeous orange polish. The Heat is On. It's a red jelly. This is Ranunculus. That sure bright. Unfortunately, China Glaze the formula for this again. Why? Why do they do this to us? This was my favorite, one of my favorite purples. Oh, it dries down to such a beautiful finish. Super unique. Trendsetter. Tree hugger. Super interesting green with a lot of shimmer. I think this would look good with like a blue topper over it. Turned up turquoise. That's a turquoise, a neon, dries down to a matte finish. The heat is on. Valet the sleigh. Uh, this is, I'm going to pull it too, this is from their numerical collection. It was celebrating their 10th anniversary, one of my oldest, two of my oldest. Uh, this one's number seven and this one's number eight, I believe. But very pretty uh, creams for the fall. Watermelon Rind. This reminds me of when I first started collecting China Glaze. I love this color. This is We Got the Beat. Dries down to a textured finish uh, with a lot of gold glass fleck in there. West Side Warrior. 
work it honey what a pansy what I like about blue love this one this is white cap came out in the same collection as lighthouse they're both toppers well they're both polishes but I use them as toppers because they're so sheer but that is white cap Your Touch, which is a really interesting, I think this kind of reminds me of Jewel Tone Polish actually with mauve and there's a lot of brown shimmer in there. And of course we have Zombie Zest. <laughs> this is a lemming that I purchased late last summer, last year, but so happy to finally have it in my collection. And actually the very last one is one I haven't organized yet because I just picked it up. This is called Hex Boyfriend. This came out in one of their Halloween collections a few years ago. We didn't get them in Canada, but I surprisingly found it at Walmart a couple weeks ago, so I had to snag it up. It dries down to a really interesting green matte finish. The formula is not great. It, like You have to apply it so fast to get it even, but I'm excited to have this and I'm excited to try it as well. So that was Hex Boyfriend. All right, guys, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Next up is Essie, as you can see down there. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you have a lot of these China glazes in your collections as well. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care.